Yep. That's good, about like that. Hi everybody, welcome. Yeah, thought what I'd do is, um, I've done handling many times with you, but I thought what I'd do is I would just say put on handles, say four or five at a time, without doing too much talking, just so you can see me doing it, do it, and get an idea of how quickly one can do it. Um, I'll maybe make a few comments as I go. Okay, so these handles were already pulled yesterday. They've been kept under plastic wrap. Okay, you can do that. If you need to, before you wrap them, wrap them just give them a, a spray over, okay? And then put the plastic over them and seal them and they will keep, okay? Likewise, these tankers here um, were thrown yesterday or the day before and they also were just kept back, kept back under plastic. You can do that, you see, you want to hold things back, don't let them get too dry. If anything, just hold them back because you can quickly take the plastic off and bring them up to speed, if you know what I mean, in terms of dryness. Okay, so what you're going to see me do here, just make this as, as practical as I can for you. Um, and I'll just, men I'll just talk about it as I go, but I, I, I'll just make, I'll just do it rather than talk about it, if you see what I mean. Okay, so you just take one of these, and then you're just going to thumb it off like that, you see? Because you put a nice undercut there when you, you, when you threw it. You need a banding wheel, okay? Where the spiral here comes there, that's above there, so that's where I, Scratch with your finger and water. Don't add slip, okay? Just make a little bit, make the slip from the, the pot itself, okay? Okay, take the, take the handle, spread the end to make it wider. Take it and offer it up, fingers behind, index fingers, here and thumb on the top, like that, into the water, wet your hand as well as dipping the handle, can you see that, okay, like that, take it by its end, bring it around, okay, eyeball it from that way and that way. Take your hand. Pull it over once like that, okay? And now just finish. I finish with a fishtail, but however you however you do your your finish. Okay. Just make sure that, that that handle isn't bent one way or the other. Okay? Put it back on the bench over here, like that. Take your rounder and put him inside, just give him a couple of pushes down. Okay, next. D. Okay. Dip the finger. Scratch. Like that. Make the slip, you see. Don't add slip. That's the secret. Do not add slip. If you add slip, you will slip up. <laughs> then we'll have a right mess. Okay. Let your fingers do the walking or the working. All right, dip them in the water. Dip your fingers in the water. Da, da, da. Pull them down, keep the handle hanging at right angles to, to the mug. Bring them round, judge that distance. Check them like that. Finger over the top and underneath. Do, do, do. Wipe that finger on your, your apron. You're going to need apron, okay, if you're going to do handles. Wipe it over once. Deep. Push it away once. That way. Now turn the mug around like that. And like that. Take that little tail and flick him off. Bob's your uncle. What could be simpler? Dee, 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 dee. Okay. Now, 
check that handle. If he's, you can tap him like that, you see, and the handle will, will flop down if he needs to go in that direction. Okay? Put him back here with his brother. Put the rounder in. Next. Dee, dee, dee. Okay, you see how, how, how uh, easy thumbing off is, you see? Find that there. Yeah. Uh, take that handle. Whoa, there he is. Take your knuckle, knuckle of your thumb. That's what God gave you a knuckle on your thumb for to help you put on handles, you see. Dee, 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 dee. See that action of the thumb? Across the top there. Okay, now dip him in the water. Dip your hand. Dee, 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 dee. Pull him down. As you can see, we've got the light I was talking about yesterday. I got it back today. Okay, and then bring him around like that. Check him like that. Check him like that. Okay, good. Take that finger, wipe him over. Thumb, one way, and the other. Do, 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 do. Check him this way, as well as look at him that way, and then turn him up and look at him that way. You may need to, you may need a, an adjustment. They do need adjusting as you go, you yeah. Okay, there he is. La, 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 la. You see, there's a little bit of a, you see, along the bottom here, you need to, you see, fettle that off, don't you? So take a, a damp, moist thumb and just rub him right onto that corner like that. That's thumbing off. You, you, you need to thumb, you see, if you, don't, if you don't throw the pot right in the first place, and it's all thick and heavy down the bottom here, well, you're not going to be able to do this. You're going to have to trim it, you see. Well, that's a, that's a load of hassle, isn't it? We don't want to go down that road. So just throw them right to start with. And um, you see, quick to finish then. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like, get that knuckle working. Make the, the end fat, you see, like that. Take him, offer him up, give him a little wiggle, and then, you see, get him like that underneath, and now with the thumb across the top like this. Oh, it's so easy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's all very well for you to say, Simon, but... <laughs> I tell you what, handling is there's a lot of skill in being able to. I remember I used to go to much only pottery, watch my brother Johnny. This was when I was I was sort of like starting my apprenticeship, you know, with my dad. And I'd go up to see Johnny sometimes, and um, and even before that, actually, when I used to work at uh, at Western Helicopters, I used to go over on my motorbike. And um, go and see Johnny of an evening, and uh, we'd have supper, and we'd play darts. <laughs> yeah, the dartboard in the um, the dartboard in the workshop. You see, so we sometimes we play. You notice I'm rubbing here, but I don't know if you've noticed that. Well, you see my overall. You see it's rather dirty. So once you're doing something like this, you see, and you push, you you're pushing the mug up against here and you've got hard crusty bits here it may leave a mark incidentally just give your overall a nice little spray over keep the dust down okay not a bad idea another thing I learned from Johnny <laughs> I saw him doing that one day and I thought yeah that's a good idea because you know the dust that goes in your nose it comes right here off your apron right in your nose so damp it Damn bit, man. Yeah. Yeah, I used to watch. Meanwhile, we were waiting for supper, you see. I'd be watching Johnny. And he'd be out in the studio. Now this one, you see, is a little bit, he's a little bit softer. You see that? He's, 
you just be, so be careful when you pick up a soft one that you, you don't bend it out of shape too much. Better from a point of view of the handle sticking nicely to the pot, but not so good in terms of you being able to handle it without squeezing it out of shape. You see? Okay, take that, take your knuckle, boom, 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 boom. Make him nice and wide on the end. So you need a, you need a, a good, you need a good uh, contact with the with the mug. So you need to widen the end of it. You see, that's it's one of the good secrets of learning how to pull a attach handle. Is you see now this one, he's a bit soft, so. I'm, We'll have to be a bit careful here. Bring that handle round. Like that. Just think in terms of space. Okay guys, now get practicing these handles, alright? Because there's only one way to learn how to put on handles and that's to put on a load. Loads and loads and loads. Loads. Okay, take that finger, wipe it once. Pull it over there like that, okay? And now just, if you do that, it'll be just the right amount of moisture for you to successfully successfully do that. It's another thing I learned from Johnny. You see, you learn a lot, don't you, just by going and watching somebody. Um, work. Okay. Let's do that. Are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? Yes we are. Deep, deep, get that finger. Scratch. Squatch and then I do like that, you see. Take that knuckle, spread the end. Take him and index finger underneath, thumb on top, in the water pot, hand in the water pot. Now pull him again. This sort of refreshes the handle, you see. Makes it nice and supple and bendy as you want it to be. You can't you can't attach a stiff handle. You see, you've got to get him nice and you've got to wet him up. And then he will he'll he'll flow, you see. You've got to get the handle to flow. <laughs> Alright, there he is. Wipe that finger once over, once down like that, once down like that, and flip him away. Gosh. Can you feel the energy? <laughs> okay. See the spiral there from the cut of the twisted wire makes a nice shell. I don't know if you can see it in the camera there, but right above that is where we. You don't have to do that, that's just me, isn't it? I mean, I learned that from dad actually. You know, when I worked for my dad, he that's what that's what he liked to do, so yeah, I sort of carried on doing it, why not? Indeed. De -de -de. Here I get that thumb working. Like that, dip it in the water pot, dip your hand, give him a few pulls. Do, do, do. 
Okay, now let him. Now remember, always, always support by holding him by the end here and bringing it. That's the action, you see. That is the action. He's good. Remember, pull him down as well onto put him down onto a clean board, alright? Okay, look, we've only got three more to go. Let's see if we can get these done. You see, this is tremendous, this is this is really good learning. To see one done is one thing, but to see six done in a row. You see, you learn something different then. At least I think you do. You have to learn, you see, to be a bit nifty. A bit nifty, a bit nifty with your fingers, you see, with all this business. When you start doing handles and stuff, you sort of, you sort of all fingers and thumbs, aren't you? Nothing seems to go where you want it and Okay, take that handle and let him come over. Just right, you see? Not too big, not too small. Just the right size. Nothing worse than handles that are too big. Because they, they not only do they look awful, they're, they're uncomfortable. And... Check in. Good. It's all eyes, all eyes. You see, from the from the side, from the from uh, from this, from the end, from the top. Check in underneath. Make sure everything is, you know, everything's got a pass inspection. Two more. So, throw some mugs and then get practicing with some handles. You'll get good at it, you see. Don't think that you can't do it. Because that is wrong. And it's, it's not the truth. Because you can do it, I can tell you. Because you know that handle was a little harder, a little stiffer than some of the others. This particular one. That's remember. I remember now. I was pulling those handles, and I remember then I changed clay, and I, I, and I, I got hold of some clay, and it was a little, it was a little stiffer. No, I think I'm just transitioned now into the stiff handles. Yeah, it's a bit stiffer. A little stiffer, but it's okay. See, if you, when you're when you're attaching an appendage to a body, let's call this the body. When you're attaching an appendage to a body, the greater the difference in 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 the in the humidity levels in the appendage to the body the greater the potential there is for cracking so choose some clay that's perhaps a little a little stiffer for uh, for handle for handles to start with and then you won't have 
quite such a, a difference and less chance of cracking. Okay folks, we've got one more here. One more. You see we rattled them off, didn't we, quite quick. It's just like that. Scratch it one way then the other and then rub it over like that. Yeah, these are slightly stiffer. They need a bit of, a bit of wetness. That's some going there, see? Like that. Don't never let the handle droop. Always keep it respect that 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 90 degrees there always. Okay? And you'll be okay. It's one of the main things that people do when they're putting on handles, what they do wrong is they let it flop there and bend and then it gets a gets a weak point just here. It goes kind of thin. Maybe you're somebody like that. Well, Here, it's just, just as on this last one, I'll show you. If you've got a bit of a thumbnail, okay, you can dig the thumb in here on one side and we rake it down, you see, like this. You see that? And then on the other side. See that? It, it give a, gives a sort of spine to the, to the handle. I, I do that sometimes, you know. If I'm in the mood. You can do that, you see. It just adds a little it adds a little character, doesn't it? This is what we did last last week or what was it? We took this, didn't we? And we rolled it up and made a little scroll. Are we we got battery life there still? It must be Hovering on the edge. All right. Just get the handle so it has a nice sort of. It grows out of the side of the, the side of the pot. You see, just naturally, nicely, in a nice graceful, nice graceful curve, a sort of continuous curve. Nice. Just think of that. Okay, so what next for these is, I will, I will come along in a, uh, later, either later or tomorrow morning, and seal them um, right underneath. I usually put the seal there, right, right there. I could do, I could do them now actually. But I'm going to I'm going to end the video now because I didn't want it to be long and drawn out. I wanted it to be short and sharp and to the point. And hopefully there's some things there that you can take away with you, go away into your studio and practice them. Okay? Hey folks, thanks for watching. Uh, my website simonleachpottery.com. Go there. If you want to do Skype with me, Skype one on one at the wheel. Okay, you can do that. I'm taking orders for leech treadle wheels. You know, you're familiar with my, my potter's wheel. Uh, Amish made, cherry, walnut, and maple. Very, very well made, solid, last, last forever. Last a few lifetimes, anyway. Nothing to go wrong, and a nice way to make pots. <laughs> All you lot out there who've never experienced a treadle wheel, you, 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 all you know is the electric wheel. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> okay, so anyway, if, you, if that interests you, contact me. I need to get five people, yeah, so we can get a batch of these wheels started because my Amish carpenter won't make less than five. So I need five people committed with a down payment and then we, we get a batch made. Okay, and what else? Workshops here check my website for the dates if there's a date that interests you contact me first 
don't just send me a check. Contact me first just to make sure that there's vacancies on that particular date. I can take up to six people. And, and if there is, then I'll let, let you know. And what you should do then is mail me a check for $75. And that's it. And then you bring the balance when you come on the day. And good, yeah, come to Milheim. There's a lot going on here in this valley here. We've got Amish, we've got music, we've got poetry, we've got art. <laughs> so come and join us. And above all, keep practicing. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.